Advances in biotechnology are taking place at a rapid pace and sci-fi begins to become a reality when we have to ask ourselves, are we ready for this in the future? Reality scientists have been able to create clones of monkeys and there still seems like a possibility that humans will be next. Will a scientist finally cross the line of ethics in order for some fame and recognition or has it already happened? Today we're going to ask ourselves, is human cloning in our near future? Hey guys, this is American Eye bringing to you one of my favorite topics. Now let's get on to it. Number 11. How Cloning Works Cloning is a very complicated process that requires a lot of skill, patience, and advanced tools in order to make it work. Most people are perfectly fine with in vitro fertilization where children are basically made inside a laboratory. A man's sperm is injected into an unfertilized egg in a lab which is very similar to the process of cloning. In 2005, the UN made human cloning illegal but not everyone out there was thinking it's immoral. Nuclear transfer appears to be the most common and effective form of cloning which requires removing DNA from an unfertilized egg and injecting it with DNA of the organism being cloned. It doesn't matter if the tissue comes from a live or deceased organism as long as it's well preserved. It can definitely work for humans, but it might take a couple of tries before we get it right. One clone doctor claims that he could clone a healthy human with a 30% success rate. The delicate process requires a microscope, a tool to keep the egg in place, and a hair-thin needle. Number 10. Dolly the Sheep the first modern-day clone which really led to a lot of backlash by protesters was a domestic sheep known as Dolly. Being the first ever mammal to get cloned from an adult cell, she was named after Dolly Parton. This experiment took place at the Roslyn Institute at the University of Edinburgh in Scotland. The team consisted of people such as embryologists, surgeons, vets, and farm staff. Scientists use a process called nuclear transfer and she was eventually born in July of 1996. She was called the world's most famous sheep by BBC. Dolly even successfully reproduced and gave birth to triplets. Dolly didn't reach the normal life expectancy and only lived 6.5 years, which is half the life of normal uncloned sheep. She had to be euthanized from her severe arthritis and lung disease. This makes us seriously question whether or not a human will be able to live without suffering or without mutations. Number 9. Possible Problems with Cloning The tremendous debate on cloning has created a demand for research on this controversial process, which has led to animal experimentation. The main problem with human cloning is that it's almost certain that eventually humans will be born with defects, especially during the early experimental testing days. There is certainly no guarantee that a person will live a normal healthy life and knowing that you're a clone might cause some psychological problems. Scientists have noticed cows developing heart and blood problems shortly after birth. It tends to interfere with normal and natural genetic functioning. Sheep, mice, and cows have been known to have stillbirths and those who survive typically don't last long. They might seem just fine for a few months before developing considerable health risks. You also have to wonder if cloning becomes an accepted means of reproduction, how it affect relationships and will men and women even need each other anymore? Does the potential good that comes from cloning override some of the consequences? Let us know what you think in the comment section. Number 8. Other Species Cloned the process of cloning is slowly getting easier by the day and a surprising number of different species have already been asexually produced. Some of these clones might actually offer benefits to mankind. In Dubai, a pharmaceutical camel was created which could produce life-saving medications such as insulin and blood clotting treatments. The researchers in Dubai also were responsible for the first camel clone which would actually excel in milk production named Injaz. A Pyrenean ibex was cloned, bringing it out of extinction in 2009, but it died from lung complications. Two frozen skin samples were used for the genetic material required, and a domestic goat was used as a possible surrogate mother by the means of nuclear transfer. Possibly the most advanced species that we've been able to clone, though, is the crabby macaque in 2018. That was a huge boundary breaker for cloning humans, especially since macaque monkeys share 93% of the same DNA as Homo sapiens. Scientists made it seem easy when they basically used the same technique they used to clone Dolly the sheep. The method had originally failed to make more monkeys but eventually worked after thousands of attempts previously. Number 7. Gene Manipulation Some modern scientists seem to be extremely fascinated with DNA and our genetics in modern times and maybe it could be the answer for many issues. CRISPR-Cas9 is basically a new reliable way to make precise and targeted changes to the genome of living cells and this is quite the huge discovery for biomedical researchers. Once Cas9 is introduced, scientists have the option to insert or delete different genetics. 
Not only is it inexpensive, it's effective, and they don't believe it will have an effect on non-targeted genomes. However, although it's improved, it's not 100% accurate and sometimes they can miss. For human cells, the targeting efficiency ranges anywhere from 70 to 80% as opposed to older established methods. Number 6. Pet Cloning If money wasn't an issue and your beloved pet passed away, would you consider harvesting some of their DNA in order to make them a clone? The loss of a pet can be like losing a family member, and maybe one way for people to cope would be to send skin samples of their dog to South Korea, pay $100,000, and have a duplicate made. With some advancements in recent times, that price would be as low as $50,000 if you find a good dog-making laboratory. Barbara Streisand did it not only once, but twice after her beloved Catan de Tellur, named Samantha, went to doggy heaven. One particular bomb-sniffing dog from Kanda, who showed quite a bit of success in South Korea, was actually cloned because they felt like it was his genetics that helped him out. The demand for police and military dogs is on the rise, so clone bomb-sniffing dogs is also on the rise. It turns out to be a big success, too. What happens, though, if someone wants a pet that contains human DNA? Does that cross the line? Number 5. The Human Clone Doctor a man named Panayotis Savos performed countless in vitro fertilizations in the state of Kentucky, and he felt extremely confident that he would actually be able to clone a human. He helped many parents obtain test tube children, and never did any of those kids have any birth defects, according to him. He claimed to have the ability to pick the best embryos available, and wanted to give people the option to clone. It would no longer matter if a parent didn't have sperm or fertile eggs. In 2002, he wanted to actually take the next step and produce a clone. He made a shocking announcement that he sent the first cloned embryo into a 35-year-old Italian woman. At a press conference, he claimed that he'd be able to have a 30% success rate, which seemed a little bit too low for some people. That also meant that 70% of people might have some issues. It's believed that the woman never became pregnant and the whole experiment never actually worked. In 2009, Savos claimed to have cloned 14 embryos and transferred 11 of those to the womb. This makes us wonder if there could be some clones out there walking among us that we don't even know about. Number 4. Ethics If the future of human cloning is here, you have to wonder if people, especially large corporations, might simply take advantage of it. Imagine if a company wanted to take a DNA sample from a model employee and make a thousand clones of that person. Would the corporation treat those clones like human beings, or would they treat them like slaves with no rights? Could that goody-goody person who always gets their work done on time at your office be some kind of clone? If a person wanted to clone some type of hybrid creature that contains DNA of a human, would they be allowed to treat that thing like an animal or keep it in a cage? There are many questions that arise if cloning becomes legal and the ethical treatment of clones seems to be one of the main issues. How many of those clones will develop health issues as time goes by and will they have the rights as naturally produced humans? It might seem too early to be asking these questions right now, but the future is just around the corner. Number 3. Clone Superhumans Now imagine the government gets involved with the tech companies who have been storing our DNA from DNA ancestry tests and wants to create an army of genetically superior soldiers. Or possibly even create a new state where only people who have certain genetics are allowed to join. Some dictators throughout history wanted to create a state where he deemed the people to be genetically superior. Cloning technology, if it ends up in the wrong hands, could make it extremely easy to make this goal a reality. The possibilities really seem endless, and while it might all sound like science fiction at the moment, look at how far biotech companies have made it in the past few decades. Soldiers might be designed to be the strongest, most intelligent, and the bravest soldiers on the face of the planet. Since the leaders of these armies don't really see these people as human, their lives will become expendable. Number 2. Providing Replacement Parts here is another possible scenario of cloning that we need to consider. Imagine you're a billionaire. You have everything you need, and the only thing you need to worry about in your life is your health. No one is going to live forever, and kind of like an old car, parts are going to need to be replaced. If money wasn't an issue, would you consider keeping a clone of yourself around in order to help you replace some parts in the near future? Imagine you're an old man in your 60s and 70s, and you're beginning to get spots on your liver. Your clone, on the other hand, has been strictly instructed not to drink, and their liver is looking pretty useful at this point. The liver and any other internal organs will be a perfect match for you, and although you might have developed some attachment to your clone, the time has come to increase your lifespan. Clones being used for providing replacement parts for the wealthy might seem to increase their immortality, so watch out. Number 1. The Clone Zombie Apocalypse could a mad scientist purposely create mutants in order to wreak havoc upon civilization as we know it? Could a hybrid clone woolly mammoth be unleashed by scientists for the sole purpose of destruction? Don't put it past us. 
There are many hypothetical scenarios where clone creatures could usher in some form of chaos. The possibility certainly seems endless, and even bringing back the Neanderthals seems like a risky proposition. Perhaps clones could be used to fight off the evil ones someday, but as of right now, playing God seems to have more risks than benefits. So what'd you guys think of that video? Be sure to hit like, comment, and subscribe, and check out some more of our videos. We got hundreds of them.